Today, we're taking a look at a new love life figure by Alter. Does she live up to Alter's name, or is she just teasing us? Find out. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Trifig. My name's Chris. Now, if you've been collecting as long as I have, you might be familiar with different figure companies and their price tags, which means you know about Alter and their price tags. But at their price tags, you know that you're getting quality and some of the best made figures in the world. It's almost impossible for them to let us down. Or is it? This is the new 1-7 scale release of Kanu Matsuda wetsuit version from Love Life Sunshine. And yes, she's an altar release. But beneath all that beauty, energetic posing, and blue color, lies a bit of a problem I have with this figure and altar's choice to produce her. But before we get to the figure, let's get to my first set of problems, and that's with the box. The box is remarkably simple. You have your average top opening that says Love Life Sunshine, character's name, and the altar logo, of course, which is then repeated on the opposite sides. And the top opens to reveal Kanan in a nice, secure little plastic packaging. Uh, the main problem I'm going to have with the box is the, the lack of a proper insert. And that's just because what Alter did, instead of giving us a image of the illustration that it's based on, instead they gave us a photo of the figure, which on a clear box I don't really see any point in since you can already get a good look around of the figure without seeing an image of it. So to that I'm kind of bummed about and also the fact that the insert looks really really pretty. It's a good beach scene. However, when you start to pose it out with Kanan, you can't take a proper picture because it's so narrow. So that's my main beef with the box. Anyway, it's a box which means I'm going to toss it, so let's move on and take a look at the base. Now the base is fine the way it's done. I would have preferred more of a themed base, much like the sandy beach effect we got with Megumi. However, I do like the clear base. It's of an altar kind of finish compared to other figures that tend to be either a little too distracting or just not enough effort was placed into it. It just seems very simple. Just as the Life Sunshine, it has these nice little diamond crystal effects that you can see the Love Life logo as well, and a very nice uh, metal peg that you can tell is going to keep your figure safe, balanced, and from falling over. So overall, it's a very simple base, it'll do the job, although I do wish we would have gotten more with the one more fitting to the figure's uh, overall emotion. Alright, so we know that Alter isn't known for their bases, they're really known for their sculpt, their high prices, pretty much really good stuff is what they're known for when it comes to their figures, you know what you're going to expect. So it was kind of a shock when I started reviewing this figure back in October how much I didn't actually connect with it. Um, that's why the review has taken so long. I, I kind of got out of that honeymoon period with this figure and I tried selling on eBay and then I started taking photos of it. Kind of fell back in love. So let's go take a look at what makes this figure good and then we'll go over what I would probably say I wouldn't recommend this figure for and why I almost tried to sell it. Kanan is a very well executed figure. Her sculpt and pose done by Ryo Hashimoto present a playful, energetic, yet slightly adult look at the idol enjoying her hobby. Her chest pushed forward, back arched, forward pushing out that booty presents a pretty sweet balance, not only for display, but literally for balance. In addition to the metal peg on the base, Kanan's pose helps keep her stable. In fact, if you were to divide her right in half, 
you can see pretty good equal distribution of weight. Her wet sit is finished to recreate that skin tight effect super super well. Although the paintwork done by Nanami Tetsumori does feel lacking in the texture department. As all parts have the same smoothness and even these light blue patches which appear to have more of a rough finish glide across. The paintwork and sculpt gets better along the shaded areas and folds and wrinkles presenting a freshly worn wetsuit and in my opinion doesn't actually fit the description that this figure was intending to do which was a finished dive uh, but we'll come back to that a little bit later. The wetsuit features creases and tug lines as she poses and pulls it open her top revealing her upper torso. The tug, while well, a bit exaggerated, looks super cute, especially with that finely detailed stomach and facial expression. Presenting a winking, kind of, hey, what's happening, but with a hint of, damn, it's bright today. Her eyes having a nice glossy finish, and the tiniest of details are presented perfectly. Her hair is also plenty fun to admire, and I really like the frozen motion it's in. It helps sell her quick head turn with the hair flowing and arching in smooth, nice motion. Her hands and feet seem detailed enough, although feel a little flat and in need of a bit of shading. Unfortunately, her top seems to have received the least amount of attention when it comes to detail of this figure. The strings and pattern as well as the shading present more of a high-end price figure to a, a, a truly finished altar figure. Especially when you compare her to Good Smile's Megumi figure, which we reviewed a couple months ago. Features a higher execution in her bikini, paint, sculpt, shading. It's, it's a clear winner compared to this one. She was kind of expensive. She was around 140 once I paid for shipping and got her from Amiyami. I don't remember any delays. Good Smell is taking care of the delay department right now. Honestly, no. Um, if we were to compare her to her original illustration and even other altar figures, kind of here feels like a, uh, a borrowed figure. Like, someone else did all the work and then Alter slapped their name on it just to ship it out as an Alter figure. That's what it feels like to me. And the reason I say that is because Alter decided to do almost completely different figure compared to its original illustration and then ditch some of what made an Alter figure so great. So to get my point across and before you start hating on me, let's take a look at some of my three favorite uh, Alter figures. Three figures that I feel really push what Alter does best. Each one of these figures presents an absurd amount of detail, perfected sculpts and near Rembrandt levels of paintwork and shading. Each also has their negatives though. Saber here wobbles like a drunk kangaroo, Maki has a dead stare and plastic veil, and Chitoge, well, I don't think they know what texture was when they were making Chitoge's clothing. However, these figures work. The sculpt, design, paintwork, they all pull together to present true high-end figures. Figures whose price tags both entice and frighten us. When put in line, they feel like the same company. They feel like a high-quality company. But you add in Kanan, and suddenly, you wonder what the heck happened. Alter's figure of Kanan feels more like a collaboration that would have been done with Kotobukiya or Mega House. It doesn't feel like a true Alter release. Now don't get me wrong, these companies, Kotobukiya and Mega House, they're still great and fantastic companies. And quite a few of these companies' figures, especially my most favorite figure, Marie Rose. But when you invest in an Alter figure, you expect an Alter figure. It's like going into a Ferrari dealer and driving out in a Saturn. It's like ordering Wagyu beef and being served McDonald's. Alter used to be a company that would delay figures months at a time just to fix one little tiny bit of sculpt, one tiny bit of paintwork. But now it seems they're trying to go a different route, skipping their quality assurance and taking maybe an easier way out. And in my opinion, I'd rather deal with a six month delayed Alter figure than one released on time and skimping on the details. So, for this figure, I'm sorry, Alter, it's just not working. 
Alter's release of Kanon Matsuda wetsuit version, in my opinion, feels like a missed opportunity to recreate a fun illustration. Had they focused more on the theme and moment the figure eludes, it may have been great. Maybe introduce props or even a decorative base which helps present the figure more, instead of going back to that tried and true flat and boring altar, could have been a new step in their figure lineup and given us a truly amazing love life figure. While I can't really recommend this figure and instead say that you should probably consider Good Smile's line of more truthful Blu-ray cover figures, which not only present a more faithful adaptation, but do that around the same price tag. What's funny though is, I still love this figure. I mean, frankly, her pose and her expression are just adorable to me. And while we didn't really get the uh, uh, freshly finished dive look that we were promised, and we don't get water droplets on her wetsuit, we don't get little patches of coloration to indicate that she was even in the water, we still get a pretty adorable figure. The blue color she's adorned in really cool my heart, and it's almost impossible to be angry when looking at her or even taking pictures of her. So if she's your favorite character, or you just really love love life characters, you're not going to be disappointed with her. As an altar collector, you may be a little disappointed just because of the drop in quality you're usually uh, used to from other altar figures. But then again, she didn't hit that $200 price mark that some of the higher end ones do. So right now is probably a really good time to get her if you're interested. Uh, you can still buy her used on AmiAmi Ami for around the same price. Actually, you can get her for a little bit less on AmiAmi Ami used right now. At least for my guess, it's going to say the next maybe two to three months you'll be able to get her at that uh, right price tag about her bumping up too much. So if you're into her and you got the money, by all means, pull the trigger on her. She's going to go into my trio display right now for Love Life figures, and she's going to stay there for the concealed future. She may have not been the best altar figure, but she's my altar figure, and I love her. Or at least until Good Smile releases that Yoshiko figure, because DAMN! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching and sticking around to the end. Have you ever been let down by a figure company when you get your pre-order and just opened it up and been like, the hell just happened to this? Let me know in the comments what that figure was or if you've been let down. It's happened to me a couple times and it's always a disappointment because you got these high-end figure companies you're paying good money for and then you just get this figure and you're like, that was a miss. Uh, also, these are going to be the next two figures I'm going to be reviewing. I've got Alter Ultra Pendragon by Max Factory and Misato Katsuragi by Union Creative. Both excellent figures, pleasure to own. They do have a couple quirks each one, but I'll go over those in the reviews. So let me know which uh, I guess is your favorite and which one you'd like to see where you get reviewed first. So until next time, buy responsibly, keep collecting, and we'll see you later.